have these ones in um, steel. And you got them in stainless. These are the real world problems building VWs, as we are finding. Uh, finding bolts for some of these parts, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, welcome back. Uh, we are continuing, continuing today. The things we're going to be doing are dancing, eating bread. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, bumper yeah. bars. We're going to actually KBS the inside of these bumper bars here. Um, just put a black, a black coating on those. So we'll get those painted. I've got the tailgates and the side gates, uh, and we're going to get those put on. We've got to do some welding of bracketry. Windows, rust windows. rust conversion we've got so much stuff to do before this thing is ready to go so anyway enjoy uh, and we will continue Righto, so as you can see, here's our quality control expert. Uh, just making sure that we're doing a good job here on these uh, side gates. So this one I haven't touched yet and it's got a lot of rust in that bottom section. And we're going to weld these new pieces of uh, RHS in to strengthen it all up. Uh, this one here has been trimmed back. And you can see that this stuff here is almost the right perfect... Um, dimensions to fit in where it needs to go like so so that's what we're going to do we're going to uh, tackle this into position the first thing we're going to do is just putting the hinges in place on the side and then we can uh, make sure that everything's going to line up to suit our particular vehicle because the uh, everything's a little bit different the channels weren't quite in the same place yeah. the, uh, the market run from. that's it so you can see here again cut out all the well most of the rust there's still obviously a little bit, of it. A little bit there <laughs> yeah but we're just going to fit it in inside here all the way it will make sense very shortly but we'll do a little bit of a test fit see how we go all right, so you can see here what we've done. This box tube is obviously going to be part of um, what we're going to weld onto the bottom half of that. And we've just placed it against the, the side of the cab. Obviously, that's our hinges. And we're just going to try to work out now where, where we're going to sink that inside the box tube here. And then, uh, so we'll just have to make a little cut into it and... Um, Go from there. As you can see here, that's the original profile. So that part sits inside the box tube. So that's what we're going to replicate like that. It's going to go inside it. It will make sense. Uh, the other thing we can stick this on, uh, we just got a couple of O-rings to keep the water out. And um, that, can get, that can get put on the front. Uh, the other thing we're going to do today is put the front glass in. Uh, the rear glass, we're still waiting for a seal. And the door frames. Oh, there's just so much going on. Oh, and the other thing too, we actually did get the original profiled uh, timber that goes in between these um, grooves here. We've got a set of those, courtesy of a mate of mine. And uh, we'll stain those up and get them screwed onto the bed too. So that's another big win. All right, let's continue with these side gates. This is what we're up to, guys. We've just put the back gate on just as a trial fit. And then as you can see there, that's our little section that we've got to weld into the bottom of the side gate. So that's just to give us our datum points on corners. And we will now take this piece off. We need to notch it. Do a little notch here on both sides. And we've got to sink this guy inside that. And then we can weld that onto that. And then that bit's done. So, more stuffing around. But, you know, this is what we've got to do. 
Isn't that right? Yes, not impressed. Not impressed at all. Okay, let's get to it. Right, oh, so we've got the side gate uh, tacked into position. And as you can see, it uh, looks pretty good. We've got some patching to do in that back bit where it completely rusted away. But we've got a really, a fairly good gap uh, running down there. And the gap along the bottom is about two and a half mil. Uh, so that's phantasmagorical. And inside, you can see here, we've just, you know, just tacked it. Uh, we're going to use a lot of panel bond on this only because we don't want to go and weld it all the way along and then completely burn away all our Picasso Picasso painting. Uh, so yeah, we will use a lot of panel bond to put this, you know, tack it where it needs to be with the welder and then panel bond the rest of it. But that's looking good. We've got to continue with the other two sides because as you can see, those ones are very rusty. Uh, this will also get the GIF uh, treatment magic on that, treatment. the magic drift GIF treatment, just to get it more to this colour here. Magic America, it's an abrasive cleaner. Yeah, it's an abrasive cleaner for, for um, all the Yanks um, and Europeans. You know, that's how it is. Anyway, but it'll get rid of all this white little white look. Um, cool. All right, we'll continue on. Oh, here you go. There you go. There it is. This cream is the, cleanser. This is the cream cleanser, guys. So you can That's have if a, it comes out the freaking bottle. Well, it, it might not. Yeah, there Just you go. like gritty, pasty yeah. stuff. Yeah, and you can see here. Just generally, generally, what happens? Uh, you use that to clean ovens, and obviously, Oven Boy here does a lot of that, so it's perfect. Uh, it's an it, oven boy. it works. It works great. Awesome. Okay, let's move on. Uh, that's. That bottom section cut off, as you can see, it's pretty bad. There's quite a lot of rust on that. That's the aftermath there in the bin. And, um, you know, you can see it's blown completely through here. And massive big patch blown through there. But, you know, we want to just try to preserve them. I know it's not, you know, probably the, the, the best way would just be to, you know, buy new gates. But, you know, look at the back of that. It looks fantastic. That's what we want. That patina look. So we're just going to patch these up, put that on it, pull starting the grinder up, quality control, not doing much, and we will continue just to clean up this and uh, we'll rust convert it and get it ready for welding that piece on. Yeah, yeah. All right, so day two on these gates, and as you can see, the smart person's not working. Go on your scheme. The dumb one is. <laughs> This is what we're doing. This thing doesn't move. I haven't burnt myself yet, but we're thinking about it. Is it warm there? It's <laughs> warming up. We need to uh, take our time and heat this up. We're going to use the oxy torch. Please. No, we don't want to melt it. A uh, little bit of that, a little bit of heat, and a little bit of WD 40, and we should be able to clean this sucker up, she's just totally seized, so we need to get it to be able to move up and down. So we'll just apply a bit of heat to it, and a bit of the uh, this stuff, and hopefully she frees up. Let's see how we go. Yeah, Righto, oh, so another job we've got done is painted the insides of these with the polyurethane KBS. You can see there, all nicely painted. And that'll just stop that rust coming back again. Okay, beautiful. And of course, I also have a new pair of Crocs. How bloody cool are those things? Gotta love those. Anyone that hasn't worn Crocs, you need to get a pair. They are the best. Um, cool. So uh, we have done a little bit more. We have actually put a a billet chrome handle. And we do have the Jamberg, which we have talked about that before. Uh, I have a gauge pod ready to paint and mount up the top up there. And we have also done the rear, uh, just tacked that bottom new section on the, on the rear tailgate. We've still got this, this one over here that we're working on. And that one, uh, we've actually ground out all the, the bad stuff. And we've just put some rust treatment on it. And then of course we've got to get that guy ready and weld it in position and get the hinges all 
done as well. So a little bit of finessing to do. Uh, the plan with these tailgates, as you can see, there is still rust, you know, behind the back here. And we're gonna have to just, you know, finesse all that up and then spray it to make it look old and, you know, the same as the rest of it. But it's coming along, <laughs> you can see here. It's, that is real rust. We, have, we, we don't want that on there, we'll get rid of that. But uh, yeah, good day's work today. Um, we will come back to this and uh, keep going. I think we might be able to still get the glass in front windscreens in and then I'll take these uh, gates off and just fully weld them and then we're going to run a bead of panel bond along that top seam uh, and then underneath as well. We don't want to do too much welding on them. So. Righto, so one of the next things we're going to do is just put this front badge on. And I've gone and put a couple of little O-rings in there just to seal uh, from the weather. And obviously we've got our nylock nuts. So uh, let's go and pop this sucker in and see what she looks like from the front. So one of the next jobs uh, to tick off our list is the front windscreen glass. And we've got some brand new glass for this. Obviously for roadworthies here, they, they like to have new glass in them and obviously new rubber seals as well. And interesting, we've got two kinds here. One of them's a, a real shiny, really softish kind of rubber. And the other one is uh, the Wolfberg West rubber, which seems to be a lot I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be as good quality and I have had, as you guys know, issues with their rubber in the past. So I'm opting not to use that and to go with this other brand. So we will put this stuff in. Let's go.
right, uh, look at this. We've got glass for miles. No, no safaris on this beast. We're going with factory, uh, the factory glass. Well, brand new factory glass, but you know, seals. They went in actually really good. I'm super happy with those. Um, very supple rubber. Pulling it through from the outside um, or inside with the string work, worked really good. No real issues. You know, the corners kind of take a little bit of finessing with the with the uh, the string to get it through, but. That is um, job done. So we've got some front glass. We're still waiting for the rear seal. Uh, we are now going to put in the front headlights, which we have over there. Uh, they're not the original buckets, I'm afraid. Um, we've got brand new ones, which they're aftermarket uh, um, ones that we got from Steve up at Das Resto. So uh, the, the original ones were just too far gone to, to really be able to use those. So. Uh, we're just going to go with um, putting these brand new units in it and again being a roadworthy item uh, you know they really look carefully at the glass so uh, you know we have to put new stuff in or we'll swap them over later um, anyway that's that we also do have a mirror a new mirror to go on the stalk over here and um, put some tape on there so that we don't kill ourselves on it this one didn't have one so interesting that it's just got a stud in it and I'm pretty sure these things did run with two mirrors so I'm not sure what the deal is there I think someone has probably just replaced the pin over time or got rid of the mirror who knows uh, anyway this is what we're gonna do now we are gonna look at uh, these new units and um, Now, there's all sorts of things in here. Rubbers, boots, all sorts of crazy stuff. All right, let's get into that. So here's the headlights. And as you can see, they're not bad quality at all. They're actually, uh, I mean, you know, you can see the lens there. They've even got the, the little insignia there. It's obviously a right-hand drive um, lens on it. The only thing they don't have is a drain hole on the underneath here for the water to come out of the chrome bezel here. So we need to drill a little hole in that and uh, to let the, the water drain out. That's the only thing they don't have. But quality wise, they're pretty good. And they're, they're a lot cheaper. I think they're only like 300 bucks each. So a lot cheaper than the Heller, the Heller ones. Um, I think they cost us about... 460 or 470 each uh, Australian dollars anyway so yeah we get we get absolutely hammered over here um, prices compared to the states but that's just the way it is um, anyway so we will go and um, put a small little drain hole in the bottom of these which is kind of sad to go and um, drill into the uh, that beautiful bright work but we've got to do it uh, so we'll get that done and then we can actually get them uh, installed into the Single cab. All right, check her out. So we've got some, we've got some bright eyes. Uh, so headlights are in. We might end up changing out those um, bezels because they are pretty bright, but we'll see what happens when the, the final product is uh, on the road. Uh, but anyway, that's, uh, it's getting dark. We've had enough and we're gonna wrap this one up for today, guys. So we will catch you uh, in the next episode and like share and subscribe and uh, I will endeavor to give you more content in the VW world so from me it is adios